So biggest challenge that we have when you get a tree up to this large is where do you put the graft? You know, a lot of people, you know, it, it, unless you have a lift, you know, you can get way up and that works really, really well. Or you got to get on a ladder or you got to climb the tree. And so some people would suggest, well, you just cut the tree off and put the grafts there, but it takes a long time to heal over. So we would suggest that you go up higher in the tree and you're looking for limbs about the size of a soda water can. That's the ideal size to put a graft on. And so you basically go up into the tree and where you find those soda can sized limbs, that's where you want to put it. And so you go up there and make those cuts and put a couple of grafts on. So on this particular tree, we have the opportunity to put two, maybe three grafts on the tree. So right about here, the tree is the optimum size that we can top work. And then we have the opportunity to come up here maybe and put a couple others. So you have to decide how high you want to go to put the grafts on the tree. So in this case today, we're going to do two. We're going to put one here and we're going to put one here on the opposite side. And so we're going to have two grafts on this particular tree. If you wanted to put more, you could come up here higher and put say one here, one, one, two, three, four. You could do it that particular way. And so you got to decide exactly what you want to do. So typically you make your cut, get the limb out, and then you make a nice clean cut where you'll put the grass. And notice the bark is much thicker on this particular tree. And so the graft is going to hold in there a lot better. So there's one, and then we're going to put the other one on the opposite side of the tree over here. So now we have two nice soda water can sized limbs that we can put a graft on. And so we'll put one on this side over here and one over here. And notice we've left the lower limbs. And so these limbs carry the tree until these can take over and then we'll gradually take these off. And so the method that you would use on these obviously is the Texas method inlay bark graft. And since we've used a saw to make those cuts, Typically, we have, I have an older knife, and I clean up those saw cuts. And you know, all I'm doing is going around. You're not really cutting a whole lot, but just a little bit of the saw cut away is what I like to do. And I used to go all the way around, but typically I just do it where I'm going to put the graft. So there's a nice straight spot, flat spot right here. And so we just pare the bark down just a little bitty bit, not a whole lot. All right, so we made these cuts with a saw, and so a chainsaw, I should say, chainsaw. And so typically after we use a chainsaw, we go ahead and use a, another knife to go ahead and get that, those chainsaw cuts away. I mean, you have the oil and stuff right there, and so you go ahead and get rid of that right there. Then we're also going to pare down this bark just a little bit where we can put the graft on. It's far easier to cut through the wood when it's white than it is the dark gray. 
And so basically what you want to do is just take a little bit of this off. You want to have it down to the white, but you want to leave the bark as thick as you can because the bark is going to hold the graft in place. And so you just pare it down a little bitty bit. And so now this is ready for a graft and this is ready for a graft over here. And so the next thing, if you'll hand me a couple of pieces of that graft wood, the long sticks there, that's it. Yep, there we go. And so you match your grafts, grafts with the size tree you're going to be working. So here we have a nice stick that will work really well. And again, this wood was not sealed. So we're going to go ahead and take the end off. So now we have a nice straight spot to work with here. You want to cut to the middle of the stick and you want to have the stick straight, you know. So you cut to the middle and then all the way out. And there was an old professor at A&M one time, he said, you want to make that with one cut. And so one day he was making it and he dee, 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 was whittling away and one of the students raised their hand, Mr. B, you said one cut. He said, yep, only count the last one. So anyway, it is fairly straight there now. We made the chisel cut, so now we're ready to put it on the tree. You put it on the tree, and you don't have it totally down because you leave the little bevel up. You cut on one side, straight in. And all, again, all you have to do is cut down through the bark. You move your hands to the opposite side, and you make the exact same cut. Again, just cutting through the bark is all that you need to do. And I never cut all the way totally to the end of the stick. I'll leave a little bit. Then we go ahead and peel it up, peel the bark up. You see how it opens up right there? You slip your stick in. And then typically you hold your thumb on the back and you tap it on down. And so we've left a little bit of bevel right there. We're going to go ahead and cut half the sliver of bark off. This bark is thick enough so that we're going to nail it in. So one of the nails goes directly into the stick. And most people, when they do that, they're kind of timid. They're afraid they're going to hurt the little stick. You knock the nail on down. Second, when we put in the sliver of bark, Knock it down. So now it's on the tree. Again, shiny side up. Typically we tear it down the middle, put that around the stick, and then wrap it around the cut area. You want this total cut area covered in behind where you put in the graph. Then a poly bag. Poly bag, we cut the corner off. Slip it down over the stick. Again, we're going to tie it off at the top and at the bottom. Oh my. Tie it off here and then we're going to tie it off at the bottom. Only where the wood is covered with foil. And then the last thing we do is we seal the top with our glue. And so then we'll put another graft right here. We cut, get our stick ready. You always want to cut away from yourself. You know, you have your greatest strength in the palm of your hand. I see some people with their fingers. If you don't have any strength in your fingers, you want to palm the wood. You want to get to the middle. And this should be as straight as you can possibly make it. And then you turn it over and you make your chisel cut. Now we put it to the tree. And we're going to cut into the bark. Last quarter of an inch or so we probably don't cut into. 
So now you move your fingers to the opposite side. Some people come around, some people move them to the side and you make the exact same cut over here. I've seen people mark this cut and then take the stick away and, and make the cut. So if you wanna do it, that's fine. So then you peel out your sliver of bark, put your stick in, and it goes all the way down. Again, we're gonna attach this with nails. So one of the nails goes directly into the little stick. The other nail goes into the little sliver bark. So now it's attached to the tree. Aluminum foil, shiny side up. And then we tie it off. I'm having, I don't know whether to leave all those buds. I'm probably going to take one set of buds off. I have four sets of buds. We're going to take one set off. So we're going to take this uh, top set of buds off. Right here. And last thing we'll do is we'll seal it with the glue. I would do two, three, maybe four. You know, you don't want to put too many. If you get three or four, you're going to be good because they grow so fast.